Hello, hello, this is Jennifer Bagley, and I wanted to touch base with all of you guys to give you a, uh, just a quick task. I know there's been a lot of conversation in our 12-step roadmap uh, webinar series, as well as um, on our blogs and so forth about Google's authorship change and how important it is to have your profile set up properly. So I just want to do a quick tutorial, and this is something that's going to be important for each of you to get set up. Um, first off, you're going to log into the back of your website, so you'll take your website and forward slash wp-admin and go ahead and log in. If you forgot your password or can't remember, you can go ahead and click forgot password and it's going to email it to you in case you forgot your login details. Once you get in on the very left hand side, you're going to be looking for users. Some of you may have a dashboard across the top or a menu across the top. Again, you're still looking for users and you're going to go down to your profile. As soon as you get to your profile, you're going to see you're going to have a username, then you're going to have your first name, your last name, what your nickname is, then you're going to have what is your display name going to be set publicly. This is up to you. Some of you may have uh, a particular author that you've established in your company. Some of you may have yourself or a marketing director. Some of you may be smaller businesses and it's uh, an independent writer like yourself. So, first thing you want to do is make sure that all of you have a Gmail account. If you don't know if you have a Gmail account or don't know how to set one up, then you're simply going to go to 12-step roadmap, go ahead and click on webinar series. Under step two, we have trainings right here that will show you how to set up a Gmail account. So each one of you needs to have a Gmail account. You also need to have a Google Plus account. You can see right here, this is a Google Plus setup. You need to have your YouTube account set up to the exact same Gmail account and so forth. We're going to go back to here. You're going to put your email account as your Gmail that is attached to your uh, Google, Pro Google Plus account, your Google Business listings, your YouTube account, and so forth. So it's the same Gmail account across the board. You're going to put in your website address. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your Google Plus profile. So I'm going to go here and right here you're going to see Plus Jennifer. So I'm going to click on Plus Jennifer. I'm going to go over to Home. I'm going to click on Profile. So again, go over to Home, click on Profile. Right here. I'm going to copy this URL, which is your Google Plus profile URL. Go back here, I'm going to paste my Google Plus profile right here. Next, I'm going to paste my Twitter account with the handle. Next, I'm going to paste my fan page. If you're not sure how to get your fan page, you're going to go to your Facebook account. All your Facebook accounts are, um, are your personal accounts owns your fan page. So right now, let me go in here. So when I go in um, as Jennifer Bagley, this is my personal account. You'll notice here it says you have, so for me I have 5,000 friends. It's going gonna, it's gonna to refer to them as friends and it's going to say you have X number of followers. This is your personal Facebook account. In order to get to your fan page, you can simply click in this corner and you should have a fan page right over here for your business and or yourself. So um, if you're a speaker, you're going to have probably an account like this one that says Jennifer Bagley. It has your likes on it, so it doesn't say friends. It says likes. If you're a business, same thing. So this is my business account, and the other one is my personal account. So you would take, uh, for example, I'm doing the 12-step roadmap one, so I have another fan page. I have a lot of fan pages. But let's go through for the other fan page. We're going to grab this one. I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to paste my fan page here. Okay, so this is going to have the fan page. Now, uh, as soon as you get done, you're going to put in a small snippet of content under your biography. So, for example, uh, Go, 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 go. You may um, very quickly grab, let me refresh that, grab just a piece of content or your introduction and you're going to paste that under your biography. And then of course from here, WordPress SEO settings, so you can set 
um, what title do you want to use for your offer page? And what is the meta description you want to use for your offer page? These are very important. So I may say Jennifer Bagley. Eve Note Speaker and I'm going to have to spell first. It's the keyboard, I promise it is. Um, for example, and then, so if you're a dentist, then you're going to want to say um, Dr. Jason Rowe, uh, put one of these little pipe bars in there, and you're going to say Dallas Cosmetic Dentist. So you want to have, you can have your name as the author, but you also want to put a keyword that's a very specific key phrase for your business. After that, just simply hit Update Profile. And when you hit Update Profile, that is it. You will now have a new profile that will display at the bottom of all of your blog posts. You guys, I hope this is helpful. Let's go ahead and have this done before the end of the month. It will be important as you're adding uh, new content to your site that your new user profile is completely connected to your Google+, Plus, your Twitter, your Facebook, your website, your Gmail account. You have your biography. You have your title tag and your meta description for your author name. Again, the more frequently you use the same key phrase in here, the better. So if you want to be found for uh, HVAC contractor in Minnesota or in Chicago, Illinois, then you're going to want to put uh, Dean's Heating and Air Conditioning, HVAC or Heating and Air Conditioning contractor in Chicago, Illinois, for example. And I know I just gave a different city to a different client's name. <laughs> so, you guys, let's get this done quickly. Uh, if you're on our managed account plan, we are going to be heavily concentrating on building up your circles inside your Google Plus account. If you want to know why, of course, this has to do with Google authorship. If you want more information on that major change with Google, you can just go to blog. As soon as you go to blog, depending on when you're coming, you, you're going to see... Um, under, let's see here, February 6th, we've posted a new blog uh, right here. Just click on this link, Google Authorship Algorithm Change, and you guys can go ahead and, and take a look at this article, which will explain why this is so critical to your search engine optimization plan and how uh, your social media positioning really affects where you're positioned. So this is a breakout session for the... 12-step uh, roadmap training program. I hope this breakout is helpful. You got a little bit of homework in it. Let's go ahead and knock that out. That way you'll be ready for the next session. Thanks again.